20 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Typical January weather expected over the next seven days. We're going to have the January thaw and then we're going to have a blast of frigid air as we move into early next week. Now, speaking of frigid temperatures, that's what we saw this morning. Take a look at these lows down to five below in Crivets. We also had five below in Watoma. It was two below in Wasaki, three degrees in Green Bay and in Fond du Lac. The overnight low was four degrees. So finally, some single digits across northeast Wisconsin. We had our latest first low in the single digits in 97 years. Just to put it in perspective, last winter we had our first low in the single digits or colder on November 17th. Well, after that frigid start, we warmed up today with lots of sunshine and a gusty southwest wind. Temperatures this afternoon running 5 to 7 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday, and that translated into high temperatures that were mainly in the upper 20s. And right now, we are looking at mainly mid to upper 20s across the area, although we range from 20 in Anago to 31 degrees in Shano. Currently in Appleton, it is 27 degrees with mostly clear skies. We have variable cloudiness in Green Bay. It is 28. It's still windy out there. Winds gusting 20 to 25 miles per hour. Abundant sunshine during the morning gave way to some patchy clouds during the afternoon, and that's what we can expect throughout the night. Stars kind of mixing with passing clouds from time to time. Temperatures across the upper Midwest today were much warmer, at least compared to yesterday. Upper 20s across northeast Wisconsin, but we had low to mid 30s to our south. That is the beginning of the January thaw that's going to be over spreading the state as we move through tomorrow and then it'll be here for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So today was the 38th straight day with at or above normal high temperatures and tomorrow will be day number 39. I'm expecting highs to be in the lower to mid 30s, about 9 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Precision cast shows clear skies mixing with some areas of clouds throughout the night. Tomorrow morning sunshine mixing with some high clouds, but those clouds will eventually Eventually thicken up as we move into the late afternoon and evening hours and then by tomorrow night and Thursday morning a good chance for some light snow that light snow will then start to mix with maybe some sleep freezing rain or just plain old rain as we head into Thursday afternoon and that'll continue on and off into Friday and Saturday so your forecast for tonight calls for stars and clouds much warmer than last night about 20 to 25 degrees warmer, in fact, as we head into tomorrow, sun and clouds, and then the clouds eventually went out. Look for highs in the lower to mid 30s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 32. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Community 2000 and Seymour, and we did that today. I forecast a high of 29, and the actual high temperature was 28 degrees. 38 on Thursday, some light snow during the morning, then a wintry mix. We'll see a wintry mix on Friday as well. Look at those temperatures getting well up into the 30s. That's going to lead to some areas of fog. Highs on Saturday will be in the 30s as well, and then falling during the afternoon as much colder air starts to push into northeast Wisconsin. In fact, on Sunday, we will see morning highs around 5 and then falling. Look for a high around 5 on Monday, and then morning highs on Tuesday around 10, and then falling as even colder weather pushes in for next Wednesday and Thursday, Megan. That cold weather was bound to come sometime, Cameron. <laughs> yeah, it's January. This is the coldest time of the year, and we're going to get some of that cold next week. All right, I guess we should expect it. Yes. Thanks. Well, tonight on NBC26 Live at 6, new numbers out tonight.